Hello everyone. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to use alter table command in Snowflake. So first of all, I'm going to create the table first. Let me just copy the command, create table command, create table employee. So I'm going to select the project database. So the project database is selected. TP underscore employee is the name of table which is in which will be created in the project database. So employee underscore ID. Now I'm going to apply the not null constraint, not null. Okay. On this employee underscore ID. So this employee underscore ID value cannot be null for this particular. So value for this particular column cannot be null. First underscore name varchar 10. Let's specify varchar 11 salary int designation varchar 20. So now let me just execute this command. Command has been executed. Now I'm going to insert values in my tp underscore employee table. So I'm going to use the insert command tp underscore employee. Let me just insert the first value. Okay, value has been inserted successfully. Now execute the, these two commands. Okay, now let me just query the employee table. Select star from tp underscore employee. Okay, so I've got the result, three rows, which I have inserted. So now I'm going to use the alter table command. So first I'm going to rename a table using the alter table command. Let me just copy paste the command So I'm going to use this command alter table table name is tp underscore employee rename to worker. So after executing this command, my table name will be changed. Now let me just execute this. So uh, currently the name of table is tp underscore employee. Now let me just execute this now the table name has been changed refresh this look worker so the name of table is now worker worker now execute the select statement look three rows so next I'm going to table swap so using alter table command, I can also swap my table. So swap table name. So select star from worker. So employee. So this is my employee table. So this is my employee table. So I'm going to swap worker table name with employee table name. So select star from employee. So eight rows. So in the employee table, there are eight rows. In the worker table, there are only, I guess, two rows, three rows. Okay. Now alter table worker swap with employee table. So after executing this command, my worker table will become the employee table. The name of table will be changed. Now execute this. Now look. So employee now employee table will have how many rows? Three rows. Look, name of table has been changed, has been swapped with the employee table. So worker name has been swapped with employee name. I'm talking about the table name. So now refresh this so now imply imply now i'm going to use the imply table look imply so
now uh, using alter table command I can also add another column in my table so now I'm going to copy this paste here alter table table name let's say employee so add column so I'm going to write add column column name I want to add column name employee underscore location data type I want to provide varchar 20 now execute this so now uh, another column has been added let me just execute this command so all values will be null by default values will be null okay fine so you can rename a column so you can also rename a column let me just execute this command to rename this particular column so instead of employee underscore location I am going to rename to location location table name is employee rename column employee location to location now execute this command Uh, execute the statement look column name has been changed using the alter table command so I can also drop a column so if you want to drop any column in a table you can use the alter table command uh, I want to drop this location column which I have created so you can also drop other columns as well using alter table command alter table employee drop column location column name so uh, statement executed successfully execute select star from employee a new column has been dropped so now what so increase the data type length so using the alter table command you can also increase the data type length let me just copy this paste here so let me just show you employee table so these are the data types of employee table first name the length of first name is 10 so using alter table command I will increase the length of this first name so I cannot decrease the length but I can only increase the length so employee alter first name first underscore name okay this column set data type var chart to let's say 20 command executed successfully so in case I want to decrease the length so I won't able to do it let's say I want to now decrease the length to 10 this will not allow me to decrease this will give me an error watch at 20 because reducing the byte length of watch is not supported in snowflake okay so this is how you increase the data type length using the alter table command so you can also drop any constraint so in case you have any constraint in your column you can also use the alter table command to drop any constraint now table so in my table I have a not null constraint on employee underscore ID column look using the alter table command I will drop this constraint alter table with the command let me just copy this again alter table table name is employee alter column employee or id alter column employee underscore id drop not null so let me just execute this using this command i can uh, drop the constraint as well okay statement has been executed successfully now so this is my table select star from employee okay now in this particular table uh, I can have any null value in the employee ID column 
so hope you understood the concept and the use of alter table command in snowflake thank you so much and have a great learning